Hello friends, welcome to Slides and Cells. Today we will learn 10 simple tricks to clean data in Excel. Hello everyone, today we will learn how to remove all the extra spaces from a given line. Here we have three examples that is given out here. The first one has an extra space between the word and and cell. The second one has a leading space that is space before the sentence. And in the third one, there's an extra space between the word and and cell and after the line. To remove all these spaces, we will use the trim function. I will go to the adjacent cell, type equal to, then type trim. After that, I will hit tab and then select the cell which has the text in it and then close the bracket and then hit enter and that's it all the extra spaces have been removed to copy this all around i will choose the bottom right corner and drag it below and all the extra spaces have been removed as you can see now remember this is still a formula what do i mean by this is if i go to the original sentence and delete the word cells and then hit enter it will also get deleted from the adjacent cell. To avoid this problem, what I will do is select all the sentence and then hit copy that is control C, go to home ribbon, under the paste, I will select paste special. Then I will choose values and then hit OK. Once I do this, the problem will not persist. Even if I delete the word cell, nothing will happen to the adjacent sentences. Now I can safely delete all the original lines, copy the ones that we have made right now and paste it at the original place and then delete it from here. And we have got all the sentences nice, clean and clear. Here we will learn how to remove blank rows. Now as you can see in this data set given below, there are a lot of blank rows in between. And they are completely random. There are three out here, then there is one out here and so on and so forth. Now to remove them manually will be a very time consuming and tedious process. Instead what you can do is select the entire data set as it is and then there are two ways to go about it. One is that I will press F5 and then a pop-up window will come up that is called a go to pop-up window and then I will go into the special option and this window will pop up. Another method is I will get into the home ribbon and from home ribbon I will go to the find and select option and then I will go into the go to special option and again the same window will pop up. In this window I will select the blanks option. Once I select the blanks option I will hit ok and then all the blank rows and cells will get selected. Now delete all these blank cells and rows I will get into the home ribbon and from there I will choose the delete option in delete I will select the delete sheet row once I have select this and hit that option voila all the data cells that is the blank rows will disappear and we get a nice clean and clear data set here we will learn how to fill all the blank cells at once. This is a typical score sheet where students have taken exam and some of the students were absent. Now to fill those sheets or the cells with the word absent manually will be a long and tiring process. Instead what we can do is select the entire score sheet or the entire data set. Once this is done I will get into the home ribbon and then I will go to find and select option. In there, I will select the go to special option. Once I select that, a go to special pop-up window will come up. There, I will select the blanks option. Once I select the blank option, I will hit OK and all the blank cells will get highlighted. Now, without clicking anywhere, I will type in what I want to type. In my case, I want to type in absent. So I will type in absent. Then comes the more important step that is I will press control and enter together that is press control enter together. Once I do this all the cells will get filled with the same word that is absent. 
this will save a lot of time and this is fairly easy and saves a lot of time. Try it out. This is an important video. The reason I say this is an important video is a lot of people are not aware about it is to avoid merge and center. Merge and center, whenever we use this, there are certain problems that are associated with it. We will tell you what the problems are and then provide a solution for it. Here, there's a typical scorecard and this person is absent. What I will do is simply come out here and type in absent. Now, to spread it across the three cells, I will select the three cells and then I will get into the home ribbon and select merge and center. Everything looks right till now. But the moment I want to select any single column, that's when the problem starts. Suppose I want to select the physics column. I will simply start from the top, start coming down and here the moment I cross the 45, the moment I start coming down, here's where the problem lies. All the columns across merge and center will get selected. Same problem occurs whenever we want to go even bottoms up. As you can see, all the cells get selected. Now this is a huge problem if I want to select any single column. To overcome this problem, what we will do is, here's the solution. I will type in absent like we did last time and I will select all the three cells like we did last time. But this time we will hit control one. That is we will press control one. The moment we do that, a window will pop up which is called a format cell. Now into this format cell, I will select alignment. Once I select into alignment tab, I will get into this horizontal option. In horizontal, I will select the second last option that is center across selection. Once I select center across selection, hit OK. Now this looks very much like merge and center. Now let's try to select one single column and let's see what happens. If I select the same physics column and I try to drag it down, here I can drag and select the entire column, which is simply not possible in merge and center. Similarly, if I go bottoms up, as you can see right now, I can select the entire history column, but in merge and center, it is simply not possible. So next time, kindly avoid merge and center. Use the method that we have given up to you and this will save you a lot of frustration when you are about to select a single column. Here we will learn how to format a text or a given name. As you can see, we have asked some of our Avengers and Justice League friends to type in their true identity and they haven't given us in a proper format. What if I want to convert this into a proper format? One way to do it is if I want to convert everything into capital case that is in capital letters all I have to do is type in equal to then type upper hit tab and then select the cell where the name is written and then close the bracket and hit enter. Now Tony Stark is converted into capital letters. All I have to do is hit the bottom right button and drag it below and all the names get converted into capital. Now, if I want to convert all the names into lowercase, all I have to do is hit equal to, type in lower, hit tab, and then select the cell. Once I do this, I will close the bracket and hit enter. Now, everything gets converted into lowercase. Again, I will hit the bottom right corner and drag it below, and everything gets converted into lowercase. But ideally, what we want is the first name, the first letter should be capitalized. At the same time, the second name, the first letter should be capitalized and rest everything should be in the lower case. What the way we can do this is type in equal to and type proper. And then select the cell from where we want the name to be selected and close the bracket. Hit enter. And as you can see in Tony Stark, the T is capital and the first letter in Stark, that S is capital. Now again, I will select the bottom right corner and drag it below. And as you can see, all the names are there in a proper format. 
This is a simple, neat and easy technique to format the data. Here we will learn how to find and remove duplicates. Now here we have a typical score sheet and here as you can see there are three SAMs out here out of which serial number 1 and serial number 8 are a proper duplicates of each other. How to remove it is what we will look into it. First thing that I have to do is select the entire set and then I will get into the data ribbon and then hit the remove duplicates. Once I go into it, I realize that a pop-up window comes up and there my data has headers is already checked. If I uncheck this, then what will happen is all the headers will be removed. And as you can see, here it comes in as column A, B and C. So if your data has headers, make sure that this, this option is checked. Once this is done, I will say what are the things that I want to find if there are duplicates or not there. I will unselect serial number first because that is something that is unique throughout. Now it will check whether the name, the marks in maths, physics and history are exact match. If they are an exact match, then it will remove the entire row. Now let's look into this. Once this is done, I will hit OK and here it is. One duplicate value has been removed and there are nine unique values remain. Now I will hit OK and hit Ctrl Z. Now if I want to customize remove duplicate, I can also do that. What I will do is now I will remove only things, only the rows which have the name SAM in it. Again, select the entire row, duplicates. This time I will unselect everything and I will only select the name. This way it will only look into for the name SAM and then hit OK. Now it will remove the two duplicate values because there were three names of SAM and it will remove the two which it found as duplicates. This is how you can customize the remove duplicates. This is very useful when you have a large set of data where there is some redundant data in it. Today we will learn about a new command that is Control D. Typically, if I want to copy and paste something, I will use Ctrl C and Ctrl V. But if I want to copy a data from the above row to the row below it, all I have to do is select the blank rows that are out there and then all I have to do is hit Ctrl D. The moment I do that, all the data, as you can see, will be copied in the row below. Also, if I highlight just the cells where I want to copy it, all I have to do is highlight them and hit Ctrl D and that data will get selected. This also applies for a single cell. Then I can fill all the unfilled data and this saves a lot of time since we'll be using only one command instead of using two. So next time use Ctrl D. Here we will discuss about a new command that is control enter and the applications of it. One of the application is how to fill the non-continuous data that you can see out here. Also, if we want to select the same data and paste it all over the place, how to do that. Now here, when you look at this data, we have pen and I want to copy this pen and paste it in this range. Pencil, I want to copy it and paste it in this range. Sharpener in this one and eraser in this one. Ideally or typically what I would do is copy this, then I will select this region and then paste it. Then I will copy this part, then I will select this region and then paste it. This is a very manual and tiring process. Instead what I can do is select this entire column where I want to fill in this data range. Then what I will do is either press F5 and then get into the go to special column or what I can do is get into the home ribbon, find and select and then hit go to special. This window will pop up and there I will select the blanks option and hit OK. After that what I will do is hit equal to sign and then select the first option that is first cell P4 and then I will hit control enter. The moment I do that everything gets filled the way we want it. This is a very smart and easy way to fill a long range of data 
fairly quickly. Also, if I want to select the status and I want to fill it with OK, what I will do is select this entire range, type in OK and then hit Control Enter. The moment I do this, this entire range will get filled with OK. These are a couple of applications of Control Enter which will help us in entering a lot of data. Hope this helps you guys. Here we will learn how to enter numbers starting from zero. Now if I want to enter the code of James Bond that is 007, I will type 007. But the moment I hit enter, the preceding zeros disappear. Now if we want to keep the numbers as it is that is 007, there is a simple technique to do it. What I will do is put an apostrophe sign before typing the number and then type in the number that is 007 and then hit enter. The moment I do this, I will get the desired effect. But a small green balloon pops up. This basically tells us that this is no longer a number, it is a text and that's what it has shown out here. What you can do is simply ignore the error and keep it as it is. Similarly, if I want to type in the code of Mr. Bean and let us say the code is 009, what I will do is I will type in the apostrophe first, then type in 009 and hit enter and I will get the code as it is. Understand this that once you do this, this is no longer a number, it is a string or a text. You cannot add, subtract or do any mathematical operations with it. But if you want to store the number as it is, that is starting with double zero and you want to keep that double zero, this is a fairly simple, neat and easy way to do it. how to change and remove formats. We will take it one by one. First, we will look into how to remove formats. Now, in this example that is given out here, you can see a lot of things are happening. There is a different format for names. Then there are several colors which are used to fill in. Now, if you want to remove all this format at once, what you can do is simply select the entire date range or the data table where you want to remove the, date, the formats and then come into the home and then you have this clear in this clear there is a drop down just select it and you have several options you will select clear formats once you click on this all the formatting that is done out here that is the backfill and various other things they will get cleared at one instance now i will click on it and everything is cleared it is as good as new and then i can just simply select it and out here i can fill it all borders and we have a clean data also if we want to change the format we can do it fairly easily what i want to do is change the format of this fill that is it is there in an orange color and i want to change it into blue how i can do is hit Control f and i will come out here i will select the replace option then i will select this option that is given out here now here we have format set there is no format set what i will do is i will click on this drop down choose format from cell and select this part once this is done for the replacement what i will do is again choose the drop down arrow click format and here in fill what i will do is i will select this blue and this is how it will look hit ok and then I would say replace all and everything gets replaced very quickly. So these are two ways in which you can change and remove formats. Very simple, very easy and it helps to clean up the data or to form, format the data in a very quick manner. Thank you for watching the tutorials from Slides and Cell. The link for the free template is given in the below description. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked our video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on our videos. Thank you now. See you next week.